Hello, everybody. Welcome. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry that I was a little bit later than before, but uh, hey, you know, I uh, I had to sleep. You know, I had a little bit. I was a little bit late at night. <laughs> but all right, fine. So let's continue where we start off. We are gonna draw some rocks today. How lovely. So which one is gonna be? Mm -hmm. First, let's see if everything is right. Yes, everything works here fine. Good. Let's see what 26 is. 26 is this part right over here. Alrighty, and lovely, lovely, lovely stuff. So, we're gonna do this. Oh well. We're gonna do the big part today. 20 hole 6. 20. 26. A boom twenty six B Oh wait. Other way around this is A and that is B of course. Ah, stupid me. B there we go. So today we're gonna make sure that uh, this spot is fixed. Because you know we cannot have everything fixed, of course. We can have a lot of fixed, which is important. So, um, hmm, So yeah, well, let's let's do it. Let's do it anyway. So first things first, we need to make sure that this is back again connected. There we go. Then we need to make sure that this is full screen. Oh my God. There you have that, and now we can finally start doing what we want to do. Not what other people want to do, but what we want to do. And that's draw rocks today. You know how important it is to have rocks, you know? These beautiful things, you know, rocks, and then you look for it, and then you see, like, oh my god, it's already in the right direction. Oh, thank god, and then you can just continue it, you know, scrolling down, seeing that B is here, and then you know, like, ah, yes. Ah, yes, 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 yes. So, um, I hope you enjoyed your little vacation today because, you know, I was a little bit later than today. And, you know, it can happen, you know, everybody can have a little bit of delay in sometimes. For re right reasons, wrong reasons, eh, no, not many people care. But, like I do, I don't mind if people delay. This one did just explain why. So I will explain why I did it, and I will be reasonable. So I uh, woke up, I had a little bit of a hangover, so... Well, not technically a hangover, more like I was crippled enough to, you know, not come out of bed because of the, um... Not enough, uh, dr not enough uh, water last night, so yes, technically a hangover, but not with alcohol, so... Because I was a little bit over, uh, I was totally forgetting that I needed to drink. You know that happens funny. You know I always forget to drink every day too, too many times. So um, yeah, that's why I was a little bit later than before. Also, I had to walk the dog. I had to do the dishes. So, you know, those parts also count. So now that I have explained myself to you. That is good enough to have a valuable reason, you know. And that's it. That's all you need to know, you know. That's all you need to know. Because most of this is actually just, you know, me drawing rocks. Who cares? Well, so, I don't care. I'm just drawing rocks, and I want to make this thing shine like before. So, mm, let's see if I can remember what day it is today. Oh, yeah. 5th of October. Yes, 5th of October. Yes, correct. No, no, no. August. 5th of August. There you go. Totally was uh, aiming the wrong way down with my mind. Like, hmm, what is in October then? Oh, yes, nothing. Well, the August is here. So, uh, I think I need to supposed to call people. So, I'll do that. So, today I will call my uncle. Because he, his birthday is... His birth... His birth... Per, per, birthday, eh, eh. we're celebrating his birthday, birthday, and uh, well, 
we want to make sure that um, you know he's not mess. So that's what I'm gonna do today, and uh, tomorrow I think I have enough free day off because I mean it's Thursday. No, 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 no. So yeah, great Wednesday. Mm hmm. A good day. A great day. Did you know that most of this is just, you know, drawing? And then you realize, like, oh my god, this is so cool. And then, yeah, it works. So, yeah, rocks, people, rocks, rocks, scary rocks, people, scary rocks, scary rocks. So, um, mm, yes. Oh, thank you. So, uh, what I will do is just what I always will do, and that's just, you know, draw these rocks, get these rocks fixed. Alright. Let's see what we can start first. So, we need to use a rock again, so we can get one more. So, um, yeah. It's not gonna be great looking because today I'm gonna just do the rock part, I think. Or both. Depends on how the mind is going. You know. My mind is always like, ah, oh, while you're doing this, it should be a real shame if I disturb you with some huge, huge energy drain. And I'm like, yes, it would be really annoying if you do that. So don't do it. And then my brain is like, maybe I won't. Maybe I will. And then he will. He will just surprise me like, ha, little joke, okay, do it. You didn't tell me anything, and then yes, that, that's how it works. So, you never know what's gonna happen. And that's good, because I like surprises. The only downside is I don't like NASA surprises. I don't like the uh, surprise of surprises, you know, the uh, new fun surprise. If it is fun for you, yes, then it is an excellent surprise for you, but not for me. My my surprise is a little bit less uh, fun. I like surprises though, but not those surprises. If I would have used those surprises, I would do it maybe. As you can see, it's already important to, because I'm using this kind of style, it's it's quite important to have the textures on it. Oh well. I'm going to bring the lower size here. Yes, I will. There you go. So now we have something there. All right. Um. Yes. I don't need to make it so bright. Do this. Good, 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 good. And I had to change some stuff in because the uh, the rock is a little bit of a dick because it misses textures. Ugh. I need to lower it down now. Yeah. And now 
I can just you know go for the ten million and then click here. Go for six, no, thirty, yes, thirty. So there you go. Uh, let's see what we need what we need more to do. Oh boy, we need to do a lot more. So all of this is from this part? Oh god. Oh glorious god, that's so not happening. So not happening. This is all there. Ugh. Alright. Then we need to make sure that we're doing it the right the right way. Um I knew that I would have a game. I knew I would have a problem. Problem is not quite nice to have. So, um, yes, yes. See, this this rock is easy to do because it has that lovely point. Use for the rock itself. So, um. So the main idea here is just, you know, get this thing fixed, get everything, you know, pointed out, get the beautiful, you know, rock sculpture. The only downside is that these rock sculptures are not going to be great, because most of it is actually not yet, uh, because my textures are not that great of the can see it. I hope you can see it because sometimes you know when I'm drawing, you know the textures don't add up to much good, good stuff. So that's why I rather prefer you know using colorless ones. Ah, all right. So this is all. This is all rock. Nice. Good to know, but that means that the quality of the oh boy! All right, so we have a lot more because the the textures don't add up too much, which can cause you know these problems in the in the system, which I don't like. So, so all of this, just you know, drawing up, getting things done, getting things fixed, and you know, it's just a rock, and rocks supposed to go, you know. Using the strokes, following the strokes, get a better look of it. Use more light, lighting, to light up the bigger parts. There we go. And so you create the rock. Only downside is it's a rock. So. Uh, So yeah, the only downside is that it is a rock, so the most parts don't add up quite a Oh well, I'm not going to blame anyone here for a mistake they left behind. Because you know, rocks are really tough people to, to get to. I'm just looking for what, what is rock and what is not. Because you know, 
I'm gonna put in here is the same. Now you can already see the difference between the uh, rock and the rock on the textures. So by just you know using better textures on the rocks because I created the texture itself like these textures or these textures, it gives a little bit more differences between both of them, between them both. I normally, you know, don't realize that when I'm drawing, you know, and I should be more alert of it, just because it creates better looking rocks, and if I have, if I can create better looking rocks, it means that since I'm creating better looking rocks yeah since that I create better looking rocks it will look better for me it also will look better for you it will also look better for anybody else who looks at it actually so yeah um, don't forget that these rocks don't represent all the rocks that there are. You know, there are always different kind of rocks, but if you have good rock texture, then you know you can get away with everything if you draw the rocks correctly. So, what I would recommend, I'm not, I'm not recommending it, but I will recommend it if you know, if you just follow it, I guess maybe. So if you go for rocks. You know, and these rocks are like what badly textured. Try to just you know add up some more textures by uh, putting uh, strokes in. So scratching some strokes in it, so it looks like it is a little bit more rough. And then go for that, or go from there. So you just you know add up some strokes, get better rocks done. I could do that, but I won't now because you know I'm busy with doing this, and this is more important than you know drawing rocks. It's important that I do it, but I will do it later, at a later state, and then you know from there on I will do it whenever I feel like it. So as you can see already. I have this problem here that there is no texture over here correctly done. So what I can do is, you know, darken it a little bit, darken it a little bit more, and then fully darken it so that you know. So you go for there. Okay, cool. And then you go back. What this does is that it will give the uh, give the uh, so I did a little bit of darking and then I did not darking at all. So what I did was actually you know creating uh, a texture of color into a place where there is no texture. Therefore, the color will actually uh, uh, therefore the color will actually use that for. <laughs> Therefore, the color will actually suit as a texture, which is good because then I don't have to redraw it on the main texture file that I also use, which is nice because that will come, that will make things a little less difficult than beforehand. So yes, there are always there is always a work around, you know, these kind. Of type of things, you know, like, you know, texture files, like over here, if I have like a big rock and this rock would not have been correctly textured, which we will realize sooner or later, you know, now will I notice, well, I will notice it by, you know, the change of color that will happen once this is all fixed, so, First thing what's gonna happen is that I'm gonna use light to highlight the strokes on this rock. 
I'm not going to use too much light. I'm just using the light. You're already seeing where this is going. So the more strokes I lay down, the more bubbly the rock gets. Of course, I want to make sure I highlight the rocks. Um, called uh, form. Yes, yes. Uh, the form. Yeah, normally I would use some Dutch word like called uh, the thing, but uh, yeah, fuck it. I will say form because it's easier. So to highlight the form that will give us more knowledge of well this rock looks like this instead of you know looking like a total strange thing out of middle of nowhere. Yeah. Is that the right way to do it? Can I ask that? Don't know. Don't know, don't care now. No I just I said it, I won't set it again because you know it will make me look like a complete fool if I said it wrong then. Already second guessing myself, but it doesn't matter. Alright, so I'm using this to uh, to highlight the form of the uh, out outlines. Yes. Uh, why is that so late? Why is that such a delay? Delay on knowledge. Ugh. I like it. So yes, I'm trying to highlight the outlines of this uh, of this of this object to give it more of a feel. Therefore, you know, it will give more. Therefore, it will actually look better once it's done. And not all all of this is gonna be the same. Not all of it's gonna be. It's, uh, it's all rocks, you know. It doesn't matter how the rocks look; they just need to look rocky. The only downside of these rocks is the uh, from the other ones, like these ones or these ones or these ones. You know, these ones are terribly highlighted, so I still need to do them again. Surprise! So yeah, I need to redo them. I need to redo this whole part over here to highlight better so otherwise it will look really strange to have these rocks but not then it will be looking really strange if these don't add up with these so yeah I need to do that sorry about that but it needs to be done it's necessary it's a necessary course that needs to be done. So yeah. I know this is not going to be the most, you know, best of ways. It's not even a tutorial, if I must say so. It is just, you know, telling you what I do, what I discover, and then it's showing you, well, it's this this is problematic, this is problematic, or what I do wrong, you know, I can, I can, I can see that, but, you know, since that I do not have, because I do not have the time to perfect it like a, like I should, because, you know, it still needs to be done in a certain time amount, you know, and I need to let it, fly. I need to let it slide, though, because it's uh, because it's a little bit of mediocre to almost non-important one. Well, it's important, but it's not that important. It's not as important as you know, saving the queen, for instance. You know, that's that's far more important because you know she has been locked out and she has been locked in a, in a prison somewhere in the middle of the ocean. I don't know, something, something more important than you know. Fixing a tiny mistake, like helping little children, I don't know, give them food or something. That's more important than this. Little mistakes are always necessary. Are always necessary for progress. As long as you learn from them, you can then you know know how to do how to deal with them 
in a later state, like next year or the year after that. So the main problem with these rocks is that they are big and don't have a lot of strokes behind them. So they don't have the they don't have the structure of the natural rock that I you know that I had with the like for instance they don't have here the strokes they don't they don't have the strokes that these are and then that's really annoying because you know you want to make sure that you have these strokes why because then you can make more cool looking textures than uh, for instance on these ones so um, to get past such problems normally you know you uh, get more you get different cut types of rocks and then you know you you just add up these structures, these cultures, you know, you, you add them up, you give them life. The only downside now is that, you know, if I want to do that, I, I will lose like, what, a week? And I almost need this to be done in a month. If I'm correct, I might be able to stall it for one year, uh, for one more month, month but it that's difficult, you know. You you will be on a lot of pressure, and we cannot have this pressure. No, no, no. We cannot. It's a thing that it's not allowed, sadly. So yes, uh, what do I need to do to make sure? To make sure that these, uh, um. To make sure that these uh, textures are like, you know, not, you know, uh, ah, fucking hell. What do it? Ah. To make sure that I'm not losing progress here, I need to make sure that I, you know, minimal, my, minimize the amount of errors I make while drawing. I also need to make sure that I have not, uh, not enough, uh, that I don't leave enough errors left behind so that they will not be remarkable be noticeable so therefore the errors that, in, that are in my work even though I only did the only this is the first thing that I actually draw as an assignment even though you know I haven't drawn anything on this tablet before well I have drawn some but they're not on the skill of this therefore it's more problematic for me not problematic for you, definitely not, because I'm not gonna pressure you like you need to do this. No, no, no. It's more problematic for me, you know, as a whole, because you know pressure can do a lot of things. It can break a lot of things. You know, you don't want to have them break. You don't want to have tension break. You don't want to have these tension breaks. They're not good for your health. They're not good for you anyway. Nobody. Nobody wants it. Nobody needs it. You know, you need stress sometimes, but healthy stress is like, you know, you can deal with it and then, you know, after that, it's not necessary anymore. This, though, is not healthy stress. This is a uh, big, scary stress. Big, scary stress. Indeed. So, um, I have this problem. <laughs> Yeah. Now, yeah. as you can see, I have this problem. I need to do this, but I can't not because I need to do first this one. Why this one first? Because this one is easy. If I do this one e first, then everything else will work fine. So, let's see what what this brings. As you can already see, it has some parts on the background that I forgot to color in, so that's why I have the A. And my hand is already coming up. God damn it. God freaking damn it. Why are you doing this? Oh, yes, because I'm looking at too much colors. Ah, yes. Yes. 
Next time I will pick up an assignment that I don't have to look at colors too much. Maybe black white assignment, I don't know. I cannot choose them. I can, but then I will refuse the rest. Which is not good. You know, you want to make some money, but I don't make money. Huh. I'm, I don't make money at all. If I want to make money, I, would, should, I should go for work. But no. Work is not for me. Work is not for me now. Especially with this time of bullshittery around, you know. Viruses and such. Ugh. Nobody likes that. Nobody wants viruses. Especially on the PC. Don't want to have any virus on the PC. That's that's so bad for you. Can't cause a lot of downsides, so yeah. So let's see what to do, what to do, what to do today. We're gonna do this working forward, working forward, working, working, working forward. It's gonna be a cool working forward. So yeah, um, as you can see, this uh, this rock has some strokes in it, but not a lot. So it's a little bit more harder to draw a correct rock with highlights on it without touching the uh, plant. But yeah, I'm getting there, so don't worry. I'm trying to do my very best here to do it. So, um, ugh. This rock looks like an abomination, man. Woo! Abomination rock! No! Better, better use the rock fish instead. So, um, the bad news is I'm using one color, so I need to add it up a little more. Spice it up a bit. Won't highlight too much, because otherwise it will not look nice. And I need to go for the darkening process, because otherwise I will not have this rock correctly done. Alright. So now I need to go for here. I need to add up some colors. So here, like this. You already can see what's happening. So, since I'm using a little bit more or less I'm not using too much of a rough edge on it. You can already see the difference. So these rocks don't have enough, don't have a lot of texture. Therefore, they're really hard to work around. This rock, for instance, doesn't have a lot of texture, so really bad to work around. These rocks have a lot of texture, so they will look nice eventually, even though. You know, they're badly drawn. These ones don't have enough texture, so they will look bad. These ones have more texture on them, so you can do more lighting and highlighting, which can cause the rocks to stand out better. So, though, we don't need to worry about it, because I have a plan. Yes, I have a plan. But the plan is not yet done. It's not completed yet, so we cannot do it yet. But it involves with uh, it involves uh, some uh, sneaky switcheroo with uh, some layers. So don't worry about it. This will all look fine in, in the end. I hope. Trust me, I have not studied art at all. I was the laziest person in class to do art. I was the guy that was always like, "Eh, I don't like modern art. It's so stupid." Looks so strange. So yeah, this is why I always I had the worst opinion ever for uh, for art. It's like, well, um, this looks like an uh, abomination. Yeah, and why it looks like an abomination? I don't know, but it looks so so not rightfully. It doesn't look look doesn't look natural or any any way near it. So yes. But I I I I, I sneaked past that. I sneaked past that. I, I won I won my art I won with art class. You know how? I won with art class uh, and on my exams on art. 
I just said like, hmm, what would an art person say? And then just Im imitate that kind of, you know, stupid person voice like, oh yes, this art looks magnificent, you know how the rocks touch the bottom? So generous of them. Mm -hmm. and, uh, that's, uh, that's not how I see art people, but that's how I feel when I look at modern art. So, yeah. I imitate them and then, you know, use that to uh, get the correct answer. And then I and then I and then I finally succeeded my exam. Like, ah, I did it. I succeeded. And then I had like an 8 for uh for my uh for my art, which was cool. Oh, cool, man. Art is like really subjective. I mean, like holy hell, it's subjective. I learned that the hard way because you know every single time I did everything the single time I had it about and it was about you know modern art history it was like you have a four you have a four you have a four so everything that I everything that was about modern art I had a four but then when I you know changed up with the uh, you know knowledge of modern art that I teach myself to know I had an 8 for the exam so I did a total 380 because you know 4 is 8 eh, 6 in total yeah in total but the fun part was that the exam was actually way more higher graded than you know the things that you learn in school so eventually I had uh, I had an eight in total because I also had for the par particle uh, the the ones that you do with your hands yes practical yeah practical assignments that I had to do I always gain eights I don't know why I don't know when I don't know why I gain the eights she never explained to me why I gained the eights she only said yeah you get an eight and I'm like all right but could you tell me why no she didn't want to explain. So, alright, fine then, I guess. So, uh, my art was an 8. So, my practical ones was an 8. And then, you know, modern art, history, and all that stuff. Nope. Fours everywhere, baby. Fours. So, uh, I was really happy and surprised. I was like, wait, I get a 7 for the exam? That means that I'm still at a 7. At the end of the, at the, end of the day. Ha. Huh. So then I noticed that then 7 plus an 8 is a 7.5, and 7.5 and and will be up, ri rising up, so that means that it is an 8, and so I got an 8 at the end. But, uh, for instance, uh, my uh, English was uh, really bad, bad, with double D, so I gain a 5 at the exam. Because you know I need her to write things down. Well, congratulations! I can't write. So yeah, I uh, I I won. Don't tell me how, but uh, I gain. I went through my exams. I won the exams, and then you know, I only had to do two things again last year, that year there year after. You know, because you know, um, I can't write. Yeah. So if you want me to explain something to you, I can't because I cannot write. And there is a thing then I don't want. And where is twenty six? Twenty six. Thank you. I like to remove this this art. I like to remove this beautiful stripe you left behind. Ooh. Wait. From where is this? Where is this? Where is this coming from? Where is that going from? Mm. See? No. Where is this coming from? Stupid plug. No, let's let's see. Mm. Ah. Well, look at that. I found my I found my victim. I found my victim. 
Goodbye, 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 goodbye. All right, so let's let's remove that. Let's let's remove that. And I'm just gonna save this. Yes, I save it, please. Thank you. All right, so we're gonna go back to point six B. Oh, difficulties. So the main reason why I'm you know. Not very happy about the moral art part that I, you know, uh, exams was like it was total bonkers. Where we were talking about we were talking about sharks decapitated, and that was all. I was like, okay, okay, cool, and then there were also people decapitated, and that was all. I was like, mm hmm, mm hmm. So yes, I had to put my um, fancy hat on and pretend to be an expert on this uh, kind of thing, and then uh, that's how I uh, ruled it. You know, it was like huh, I will be this uh, kind of idiot that uh, will uh, tell people to buy my stuff. Well, that's what I imagine when people are, you know, interested in modern art. But yeah, it's such a hard thing to know about. I don't like it anyway. It's not my. It's not my style. It's not my uh, my groove. My uh, coolness. My uh, great, great, great ex. My great, great things to do. So, yeah. Um. Apparently, um. Sh half uh, half sharks uh, in um, in s in uh, salt water. Well, in in water that cannot rot. Uh, is art straight up art, yeah. So yes, um, art is really, really, really strange. I prefer the old ones, you know, just just paintings and such. Paintings that have been done with hand, you know, hand-drawn paintings, and then you know, using that. So using methods of you know how to dry uh, how to make the strokes and how to look at it so even though you can have these paintings that you know don't represent anything but if the painting strokes are done well and causes and causing a good uh, how do you say causing uh, And causing um, uh, and causing good and causing a good ef and causing a good effect that is actually revolutionary to uh, the hand drawing. I would say yes, that is art because you know you invent something how to stroke down. How to use your strokes correctly, and therefore you create a cool and good-looking uh, and a good-looking and a good-looking. Um, ah, my head and a good-looking painting. There you go. Sorry about that. I really, really not good with talking and drawing at the same time, knowing that I'm doing things. So, um. To get this uh, feeling of, well, you know, getting the feeling of, you know, how to use strokes correctly, how to draw correctly, you know, they all they all require practice. They all require ways of doing things. And once you're doing these things, you will realize that, you know, everything you've done is all adding up in the end. And then you have a good picture. And you have a good draw, you know. Eventually, you will get better. Just keep on going, doing your thing. Well, that's what I think you need to do. It doesn't mean that I'm right. It only means that I might be able to be right. For the first time, I think, or second time, I don't know. I don't. I don't know when I'm right. I only know when I'm right when I want to be right. 
I don't know if that makes sense, but you know, I can be right. Cannot be right. It's all, it's all, uh, it's all fake. All, uh, all things that I do is fake. Giving fake talks about, you know, doing things that, you know, eh, is something. Something hat says something, something, something goes for hat, hat says something back, back hat, bad goes bad, and then something hat goes like, wow, you did an excellent job. You know, talking like that is like the same thing as I do. I just mumble on thinking about things in my head, and then you realize, like, ah, yes, I cannot think when I'm when I'm drawing when I'm drawing. That's not good because I'm not trying to think. I'm trying to talk. I'm trying to draw. Hmm. Three things. I cannot do three things at once. If I do that, then well, you know, my head just sometimes breaks like. Uh, because I need to, I need to translate. All right, I need to translate from my point of view to your point of view. I need to translate uh, the language, which is a big no-go for me because you know um, it's not my native language. Surprise! I don't know. I think it was quite obvious, but all right. Um, then I also need to, uh, you know, um, think about how to say it. How to make sure that I say it correctly, and then continue from there. So the main idea here is that you know I don't know a lot. I only know what I learned from practice that I did. I know things that I have done before, and with that knowledge, I try to you know be better at it again. No. Let's see what this picture looks like. These rocks are so not the rocks that are there. These rocks are so not the rocks over there. These rocks... I need to do a major overhaul after this. No, on the on those rocks, on the rocks that I'm just drawing. Ah, oh, this is so much work. Mm. Stupid rocks. Ah, oh, I wish there was a faster way to do this, but you know I have no expertise in this, so therefore I'm doing this at a snail pace, which is a problem. So yeah, um, I'm getting there, I will get there, and I will continue. So uh, yes, um, mm, mm, mm. I can call it quits, I can call it quits, I can call it quits whenever I want, I can call it quits whenever I want. I just need to remember that I need to do this and afterwards again. But I know that once I fix this, it will look better. So technically if I fix this things will look greater than beforehand because you know I fixed the colorization of it. So I should do it because otherwise you know I will be still stuck with the same shit. So I will do it. The only downside is I don't know when I will do it because I'm busy thinking about how to do it and then when I will do it. So um So then I will be like, hmm, when shall I do this? And then you realize like, yes, when shall you do this? And then you might be like, yes, when the hell will you do this? And then my mind will go like, hmm, maybe you should have done it already. And I'm like, ah, god damn it. So, um, I could do A, just doing what I'm continuing to do, you know, quit. Whenever I'm getting frustrated, I'm just you know uh, getting my head way out of my hand, uh, out of the hand, so that I don't build up stress and then don't continue. Therefore, the stress won't work, and therefore I have a good day, and therefore 
my progress is not lost, and therefore I don't lose too much on the pro progress because I will have a clear mind when doing this. So I think I will do. Or I will think I will do that because uh, it is a smart move, especially when a big, big, pro but especially with a big, big place like this. This is big, right? This is a big boy. This is a big, big, big boy. I want to make sure that I have like this on it. The, def the problem is that I do not have the rocks to do so. Alright, I don't have the rocks to do so, therefore... Oh, hey, bro. Thanks. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just a little bit frustrated that... Uh, well, I'll show you. All right, see these rocks. These rocks. They don't look the same as these rocks. All right. That's because you know they have more uh, texture in them, and these rocks don't look the same as these rocks because they have less texture and more depth. So I need to uh, redo this sooner or later. Or, or, I'll do it later, and then just first fix this up so that, you know, it may look better than in the end, and then I can just uh, lower it down afterwards. So, I think I will do that. I will think I will do that. Yeah, that's why always only one hour a day, you know. Oh, it did that. Only one hour a day is actually, that. that's... That's why I'm only doing one hour a day because otherwise I cannot take the breaks correctly and I will get over over triggered. But yeah, so far it looks good. I I think myself I think to myself too much and then just talk about whatever what's up my mind. But yeah, I like it. Yeah, it, it is super noticeable on the on the back side. So. I still need to do this part. I need to highlight more, so that this is uh, and this one. I need to do more and this part over here. So this, th this, this, th some of these rocks are still not good. Uh, this is not good. Uh, this is decent, if I may say so myself. So th this, these rocks are decent, but if I highlight these up. I don't have to deal with this. So, so yeah, I think I need to redo this one. This one I need to redo the 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 big one on the right side. So, if I redo this one, I will not get. I don't have to deal with this because then this will look natural. That's the idea. The only downside is, it's a big one again. Ugh. So yeah. I'm very close on, upon getting to the BOT. Yes, yes, I'm very close to it. I only need one, two, three. So three for the price of one. Ah, uh, yes, come on, get up. All right. Um. So yeah, there you go. So what I still need to do is getting this a little bit fixed. So I will uh, next time I will try to finish up this uh, this part, and then you know uh, fixing up the colors over the uh, over that, and then you know getting everything fixed on this on this part. Then I will do this part, and then I will fix up the difference between the both rocks, so that it will look better and nicer, if I'm correct. Uh, if I'm correct, then it will look better for me, and then you know I can continue. Because eventually I can do, eventually I can do like this. I don't know if I can, s if you can see, but I hope you do. So what I'm gonna do, um, I I just give the boat as an example, all right. So what I'm gonna do after that, after I'm done with the rocks, I will do this. So what I'm gonna do is, uh make this fork like 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 so and then 
you this is actually gonna be on the on multiple layers of uh, multiple layers of the color palette. So one is gonna be over one is gonna be over uh, one is gonna be over here. So this one, so that's gonna be here fork like, and then one in the front, so that I have multiple layers of blue stacked upon each other to create uh, the effect. Hold on, hold on. Don't worry about it. Uh, C. Wait, wait. Fog. 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 What I want to make. Sh what I want to do. Let's see if I can find it. Hold on. Blap. There you go. You have already see all these fog pictures. Oh my God. Fog. It's the fog. All right. Um. Let's see if I can find it. I saw a good example for this bullshit. Where is it? Uh, nope, 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 nope. So, um, eh, almost. Let's see if I can find it. so many Photoshop. No, I want to have that straight one. Where is it? It's not here. Wow, that's stupid. It's not no, no longer on the front page. That would be really annoying. Because I had a good one, and then you know now it's gone. It's like boom, gone. Ah, here it is. So this Mr. Hatman, you know, that's looking inside of the, uh, looks at the fog. All right. He has this middle section, and uh, what the what the idea is, what the idea is with the boat, um, is that you know. This is gonna be uh, the background is gonna be foggy because you know it's water, so you cannot see clearly to it. Uh, because the further away you see in the camera, the less you can see. So what I want to do is actually blur out the boat a little bit. So I'm gonna blur it out with the blue, you know, something like something like this. But then a little bit better than this. This is just. You know, this is ju just an example, but what I'm gonna do is making sure that, you know, the boat, you can see the boat, but you will slowly see that it will fade. It's, it's a little bit, f it's a little bit faded. Then, in the background, you don't see it anything at all. Then you see the boat, you see the boat a little bit good, like at the fork part, like at the fork part. You see the boat, you see... The boat like these trees. And then you see the background very sharp. So you know that the boat is there. You know that you know that the background is there. You know that there is a background, but there is no background. There is no background. So therefore I have this vision of a uh, uh, uh let's see if I can have the underwater view, underwater view, underwater view, under underwater view uh you you there you go on the water view all right let's see if I can find one that has a good example on this on the shenanigans uh, no, no. ah yeah, here it is here it is so uh an auto water camera can only focus on one part and then the further away you go that's the blurrier it gets so because it is deep. So that that's I think that's the I think that's what what the cause is. So let's see if I can find a better picture here. Ah here. So so as you can see, it has this it has this uh, it has this uh, blue effect in it. So it has this blue effect in it. So I might need to make a background. Possibly not. I hope not. But I tried to you know see if it works. I think if you have a little bit less of, uh, if you have more troubled water, I think it it gives more. I think it gives more of a blurry vision. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the further away you go, like these are the stairs, and then the further away you go, the more blurry it gets. Because not only the camera has the problem, because also the breaking of the light uh, causes the reflection of the camera not to represent correctly in the camera itself. If I'm correct that one so yeah that's what I wanted to do what I'm trying to get so I want to buy I want to place the boat over here uh, all right I want to place the boat over here 
at this part. So around here. I want to place a bird over here. And I want to have the environment around it. So as you can see, you can see here very clearly everything. So what I can do is make a second background and put a copy of this on the other side. I can do that as well and make that blurry. I might be I might will do that, like make more coral reefs around around the boat itself. I think that might be a smarter idea. I don't know. But I want to make sure that I have a clear view of the boat itself. So I will make sure that the boat has has the center of attention. So so far this looks good, but I think I need to put some more uh, I think I need to put some more in the background. But I don't know. It's it's a little bit difficult. It's a little bit difficult on sometimes. So yeah, um, surprise. <laughs> so yeah, surprise upon that one. Good. So uh, this is why you know this is important. Why I need to get on with it. Otherwise, I'm not gonna be able to do it. So yeah. Um. Anyway, that's my idea. That's my central idea of this thing. So I will finish up the last part of it and then you know I will call it a day because it's almost it's already an hour in and we don't want to have that or we can do finish off this but I don't think, think so because I will already have it on here. So what I'm gonna do is you know finish up this part as well. So yeah, I will finish it up. So yeah, um, I will finish this up and then you know get on with the rest. The only downside is that this might not be the best way of doing things, but oh well. I need to get it done anyway. So yes, um, So that's the main idea. So what I'm trying to do is the same thing as I always want to do, and that's just getting this thing done. But damn, it's so difficult. It's so difficult. It's so difficult that I uh, that I use different kind of rocks. Ugh. Why did I do it? I have no idea. No idea. I have. No freaking idea why I did that. The only downside is that it's gonna be like a really long before I'll be able to get a hand on it, get a hold on it. Anyway. So yeah, problems, right? Problems. Ugh. Well, this is why I like my rocks. Uh, well, that's not going to be happening correctly. Yeah. No, this. These things don't need to be highlighted that much. Ugh. Wow, this this is so bullshit. It's 
some rocks are just not meant to go for that. Alright, so, um, so yes, light, 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 no light. Oh shit, um, uh, yeah, um, <clears throat> it's time for me to go, because uh, I already uh, shot my hand, I already shot my pencil out of my hand. Uh, so, uh, I'll, I hope you all enjoyed, and uh, I hope you all uh, liked it. Until, uh, until then, um,